Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be the next instalment for the Stars and Strikes series that was mostly created by Julie. Julie is Nobody's Beauty Guru here on YouTube and myself and it is a collab so I'll link Julie and everyone else in the description box down below. This episode's going to be about hair care and like the skincare one, a lot of the stuff that I'm going to talk about I don't actually have with me. In fact, all of the stuff that I'm going to talk about I don't have with me. I have kind of three stars and one kind of strike. So let's do the stars first. Things that you absolutely have to try, if you can, are the Alterna CC t t 1 in 10 leave-in cream thing. I love that stuff. It smells great. It does great things for my hair. It just, the texture, it feels nice. It doesn't weigh my hair down. My hair's really fine. It doesn't do anything like adverse to my hair, it just it sinks in really great and it does nice things to my hair. It It is on the higher end price range so you might want to think about that but I would say that it's definitely worth spending the money on. Something else that's definitely worth spending the money on is the Philip Kingsley Elasticizer. I love that stuff. I don't have it right now. I'm saving up to get a big massive pot of it. That's how much I love it. So what I do, you can do it overnight. Some people say overnight is better but I feel weird about having my hair in a cap overnight, that would be strange to me. So I just leave it in for the 15-20 minutes and it just helps prevent any breakage. As I said a minute ago, I do have really fine hair, so breakage is something that I have to battle with and it really does help with that. Something that might be a little bit controversial is the It's a 10 Leave-In Miracle hair thing. I really, really enjoy that product. I've never used a detangler that's worked that well. And I mean, yeah, it has other benefits. Can't really speak to those other benefits in terms of my hair quality, but as a detangler, it is the best detangler I've ever used, ever. I know Amanda especially hates this product, so it's one of those ones where it's personal preference over the quality of the product. I just prefer it. Amanda does not. Something that I wanted to give a special mention to is the Paul Mitchell Strength line. I've told you about 10 times in this video already, I have problems with breakage of my hair. And the Paul Mitchell Strength stuff. So how I came across it was my hair was breaking and my friend was doing her trial hairdresser thing and her tutor was there and both my friend and her tutor said that my hair was breaking and it was really really poor quality and to try out this product and it was the spray leave-in conditioner for the strength line and um, they do a hair mask this is the like spray leave-in conditioner thing and then i went back like eight ten weeks later to have my hair cut again and they said that basically my hair would, was almost fixed, like that, and I'd only been using it for those eight weeks or so. So I will, it's always the one thing that I go back to. If I notice that I'm breaking a, a lot, then I'll grab some and then it'll fix my hair for a bit and then I'll feel comfortable again and not have to keep like rebuying it all the time. And the same with the shampoo and conditioner. They work really, really well on my hair, but I don't want my hair to get used to it. So it's one of those things where it works so well, I have to limit what I do with it. I couldn't use it as an everyday shampoo because my hair would get used to it and it wouldn't work anymore. So it's one of those things that I buy as and when I feel like my hair really, really needs it. That line is really, really great. If you struggle with breakage and I'm one of these people who like, I can try all the breakage shampoos and nothing works. So I was really amazed when this Paul Mitchell stuff actually worked. So if you're that type of person who's like, my hair keeps breaking and I can't find anything that works on my hair, try the Paul Mitchell stuff because it worked for me and I was so sure that nothing worked for me. So, And my one strike then is not one product but a brand and that is the Percy and Reed hair care line. Everything they do I just can't get on with. The hairspray has too much hold and it's really sticky. I had a like leave-in hair conditioner thing, like a balm and you put it in the ends of your hair and that left my hair dry and crispy and just everything I've tried from them I don't get on with. So as a brand now I tend to avoid shopping with them and I'd much rather go with a different brand. If I was going to try something new, I've got a couple of products in my cupboard that I need to use. One of them is a Wonder Balm so you put it in 
and it's supposed to sink into your hair and then you wash it out the next day. I will try that. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, then it doesn't, but I have it there to try. I won't buy anything from Percy and Reed because I know that a lot of their products don't work for me and I wouldn't want to risk spending my money that way. But if I keep getting the samples, then I'll use them and I'm keeping an open mind. They might have some things somewhere that works for me, but right now, they're a big no-no for me in terms of spending a lot of money so and that's everything that I had to talk about in this video I know it was a bit of a quick one and I didn't actually have any of the products to show you that's just because it's a 10 it's hard for me to get and if I can get a hold of it it's expensive the Alterna CC cream I don't have right now because I have other leave-in conditioners that I'm working through the same with the shampoo and conditioner from Paul Mitchell as I said, I don't buy that all the time, and right now I do have other stuff to work through. And the Percy and Reed stuff, I'll go and get the uh, the, one, the Wonder Balm to show you. Okay, I found other things. So this is the hairspray. It just looks like that. It is the reassuringly firm session hold hairspray. Our ultra fine humidity resistant mist gives you a satisfying stronghold, which is completely invisible to the eye. So your hair looks utterly natural and is impeccably well behaved. I imagine if you enjoy a, str a strong holding hairspray, then you would enjoy this, but it's not my preference. You all know by now that I like to have my hair kind of loose and flowy and soft and, you know, it moves when I move, that kind of a thing. So a stronghold isn't really for me. And when I do use this, I'll, I'll use it when I have my hair in braids and I have the little curlies, I'll just put them back with this but I don't need something this strong for that it just leaves it crispy so the Wonder Balm no okay I have two here from the same line one is the Wonder Balm and one is the Wonder Overnight Recovery this one is the one that you leave in and by the next morning you're supposed to have amazingly soft hair combats why does that word sound weird to me bristleness breakage and the signs of daily damage and this one is the Miracle Leave-In Balm Apply to towel dried hair working from roots to ends to prep hair for styling. Preps and primes your hair ready for, ready for, in readiness for all styling products and techniques. I'll use these items up. I have them. As you can see, they're all sample sizes, so you know that I didn't actually get them with my own money. I probably acquired these from Birch Boxes or Look Fantastic Boxes or any other beauty box, to be honest. Yeah, so those are those items. Percy and Reed. I'm going to go... Thanks for watching. I need to close the curtains. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.